doesn't much matter where, where, you know, which one of the Republicans get nominated because they're all the same. This will be a very stark contrast. They are all embracing and bear hugging the Tea Party, moving to the right. They can't move to the right far enough. It sounds like the new slogan is no longer hope and change. It's, hey, it could have been worse. Great bumper <laughs> sticker, Debbie. I hope it works for you. But the reality is that Americans are hurting in this country, and the reason why you're losing right. races like in together. New York 9 and New York 9 and all across the country. Oh, yeah, I think that incumbents have a real advantage. And uh, if I were the president, I'd go out there and I'd emphasize the things I have done. And I'd say that some things haven't worked. And I'm sorry about that. But I keep trying. And, I'm, and I think the president is a very viable candidate. Uh, and you're going to have a real horse race here, no matter who the Republican nominee is. 70% of the Republicans, having seen with their own eyes Romney and Perry up on the stage Thursday night, and then speaking to the crowd on Friday, and mixing and mingling, having receptions for them. And these were pretty, these are serious people. I talked to an awful lot of them. 70% um, voted against the two front runners. It was a vote of no confidence. We're, I think it's got a very good chance. This has tax cuts for every small business and every worker, rehiring teachers, modernizing our schools, helping rebuild our infrastructure, all things that can help the economy in the short term and are important for our long term economic future. And they traditionally have had bipartisan support.